home again after a long road trip. We wrestled uh, at Nebraska and Minnesota this past weekend. Uh, wrestled Nebraska Friday night, lost a close one. Wrestled Minnesota Monday, uh, another very close match. We were a little shorthanded without the services of B.J. Futrell, who was injured and uh, will not be competing again on Sunday. A um, couple of really big bright spots, I guess, more than anything. Daryl Thomas, uh, senior, <clears throat> is back in the lineup. Beat uh, the defending fourth place finisher at the national tournament from last year, 17-8 which was a huge win, especially in the dual meet, knowing that every win was going to count. We had a freshman beat the defending NCAA runner-up uh, by a major decision as well in the Minnesota meet. So, um, you know, a little bit of frustration knowing that a two-time All-American and your team leader sitting on the bench and, and what could have happened in those two meets. But I think more than anything, it's time for these other guys to understand they need to, to kind of carry more of the burden. And that's uh, kind of our approach going in. Uh, Sunday... Again, home meet versus Indiana at 1 o'clock. Um, and really for us, it's a little bit of calm before the storm having Ohio State and Penn State next week. And, uh, you know, followed by Iowa in a seven-day period of wrestling three of the top five teams in the country. So it, it's going to be a tough stretch. Um, nice to be home also on, on our way back from Minnesota. Interestingly enough, about 1.30 in the morning, we were taking the bus home following the meet. Um, broke down in Wisconsin and set a truck stop for six hours in the middle of the night waiting for a replacement bus to come, hopefully to get us back for class on Tuesday. Uh, didn't quite happen that way, so we, we sat at a Hardee's at a truck stop in Oakdale, Oakdale, Wisconsin. Minus 20, the bus, no heat. So we piled in the Hardee's and hung out for six hours waiting for uh, the next bus to come. So we got home about 12.30 Tuesday. Obviously canceled practice that day for, for sanity more than anything. And uh, back at it Wednesday and, and uh, no bus problem Sunday because we're home. So that's a good thing. How much food is in Hardee's? <laughs> um, you know what? We left Thursday. And uh, just the, the Big Ten's trying to do a like a Monday night football thing for wrestling. So now that football season's over, we're trying to do a live wrestling match, and all the coaches agreed to do it for a trial period to see how it works. You know, fortunately, we didn't have school Monday, so that's part of the reason why we agreed to do it. So to answer your question, it was a long road trip, um, unbelievably emotional meet Monday night. We fed them when they got on the bus. By the time we we broke down and piled into the Hardys. They're all too tired to eat, so <laughs> including me. I drank about 16 cups of coffee, and I'm still half awake from that. But um, yeah, it was a long night, long night, but not too much food, honestly. So. What have the rigors of the Big Ten schedule done for you guys for better? Um, you know, it's just, a little bit's the luck of the rotation on when you hit these guys. You know, and having three of the top five teams in a, in a seven day period, it's bad luck. So this is our kind of a rough draw this year, just the way it, it, the rotation works. But I think, um, you know, it prepares. These are the guys you're gonna wrestle in the quarterfinals, semifinals and national finals. So you need to be prepared for them and you need to be prepared for them consecutively like we're doing. So for us, it's, it's, it's always a great preparation thing for us. And I think, um, you know, more than anything, it builds character and makes you tough. And that's kind of ultimately what this sport's about. You want to see like a sense of urgency or a sense of desperation to just kind of get back? Nah, in? nah. You know what? It's um, we wrestled great, honestly. We, we could have done some better things, and we could have won more matches. But our intensity is great. Our fire is great. Um, I think these guys are excited right now. We're training's really good. So, um, you know, as a coach, you can only do what you can do, and I think. Those, these guys are giving us everything they got. So um, no sense of urge, urgency, no sense of panic. I think they believe in what we're doing. I think you can see from, from my perspective, you can kind of see the progression from our guys, whether it's skill, shape, toughness, you name it. I think we're on the right track and we're doing the right things. And, and I would think, uh, you know, comparing it to last year's kind of, finish I, I think we're at or ahead of schedule where we were last year quite honestly you know the year older and a year smarter I'd like to think too so
Thank you, Jim, for coming yep. over.